Well, I just got done watching two videos and shout outs to Hardcore Tito, The Fresh, and GW3. I salute you brothers out there. And you know, um, I just watched GW's about, let's see, I hope the title was The Negro Woman versus The Negro Man. And GW says some interesting real stuff. And Tito's two videos, the one about Jesse, I think that made that speech on BET, and the other about that Kyrie Irving situation. And I have to give kudos to Kyrie Irving for doing what he did, and he took a stand about the situation. Because I can understand and I can empathize and sympathize with him that just like other black men that have experienced horror stories, with these black women. And it's not to say that white women are no better. And they really ain't. But I can understand why he threw that party like he did. Because if you noticed. There were no fights. There was no drama. And it's not to say that white women can't start no fights. Because they can't. They can start fights. And next day in all you see a bunch of drama. And you have to get rid of the bad apples. And that's the way it's supposed to be. I mean, Kyrie Irving wanted a good party. Even though it was recorded, I mean, hey, if I was in Kyrie Irving's place, I would have done the same thing. And to say this to you, but before, to you Negro women. But before I say this, there's a movie that's coming out called uh, Bad Moms. Now, I will say this. That in this Western culture that we have today is the fact that we don't have any nurturing mothers anymore. It's like that has been gone. That has disappeared. It has gotten to the point to where these women are so brainwashed and warped. It's just pathetic. And shout outs to Iron Ball. And he made a video about how these women are nowadays are just flat out sexually irresponsible. Now, don't get me wrong, yes, you know, that even though men like myself, I will admit that we will succumb, we will some succumb to the urges sooner or later. But also, understand this, men, that there's a lot of elements you have to deal with. HIV, AIDS, kids. And it's not to say that we don't want to be a father to our kids. But we have to be careful with these North American women. Even this North American black woman, because this North American black woman has made it very clear that she's our enemy, not our friend. Right now, there's a guy, Chris Rock, he's rich as hell, and he can't even go see his daughters, and that's, that's sad and pathetic. And, and the woman he met, wind up marrying was an evil bitch anyway. And then you got this other show I was watching garbage show called Love and Hip Hop and that's just one of the most trashiest of uh, disgusting shows I've seen. And also I have to salute Great Britain for taking a stand and a vote and saying, you know what, we're divorcing ourselves from European culture. You know what I mean? Forgive me, I might go all over the place in this video, but once again I've told you that America knows how to pimp its women. No matter what. Because all they got to do is put out a policy that allow these women to act like irresponsible whores. Forget about their nurturing. That's dead. And for some of you Arab guys, hey, you guys might want to be careful marrying these North American women or trying to raise a family in the United States. I mean, I get the fact that some of you Arab men want to do business but it's just too risky to get married nowadays. Not unless you want to get a woman overseas. And a lot of these Arab men, they do this. They, they get women overseas. Why go out and marry a, a, a female that's not going to be docile, submissive, and obedient? Why deal with that? It doesn't make any sense. And yeah, women are loyal. But I'll say this, they're loyal to their feelings and that's it. And shout out to... Um, 
Santana out there who made a video saying that he thinks that, you know, you think that white women are better, and they really ain't. Usually, the grass is not always greener at the other side. But I'm not going to shame a man for not dealing... Now, I'm not going to shame a man if he marry outside his race. Because let's face the facts. I mean, there's always been interracial dating. You've had Polacks mixed in with whites. Sometimes Polacks mixed in with Italians. I remember I was listening to some women talking and someone would sit there and admit that they have, you know, um, Latin and white mixed in. Sometimes Italian and Italian and what else? Um... Irish sometimes mixed in. So there's always been interracial dating. Men, we're, we're men. We fall in love with our eyes very easily. And that's just the way it's been. I mean, let's face the facts. I mean, if I see an attractive female and stuff, and I see an attractive female, and she's showing her assets, of course I'm going to look. That's just normal. And right now I'm enjoying my couple of days off from um, the liquor store and don't get me wrong, yes you do want to earn lots of money and so right now I got some things trying I got to go on as far as Google and I'll just have to scrape up money for that and I'll let you know how that goes that's probably my ultimate goal right now at this very moment because I know that uh, it's going to take money to get to where I am right now. So a lot of things are going through trial and error right now with my website. So, you know, and like I said, man, before, to some of you guys, don't be afraid to invest in passports, not just to go over and have sex with other women. And it should not be hard to engage a woman. Or it should not be hard for her to engage with you. Because that's what we're seeing. We're seeing nothing more than a bunch of brain dead zombie ass women. And like I said, man, it's not surprising that if you see a woman move to another state, because they're like vampires nowadays. It's like they teach these women to be vampires slash black widows. You know, it's really sad. And a lot of these beta males are just flat out you know beta males and like I said I was watching uh, what was it Um, a video by Sean James and he just mentioned a lot of valid points about Nicole Brown Simpson and you know not to say that she does not deserve to die the way she did she does not but this woman was not an angel herself I mean let's face the facts I mean the what domestic dispute the call in 1989 and they want to paint now even though OJ was a simp and a jerk at times Nicole Brown Simpson wasn't no saint I mean she was just a flat out a flat out hoe I mean bottom line I mean she was having affairs behind this man's back and you would think that these white women are better prizes and they really ain't and this is why that you have a culture of women running amok today now, I can understand that these white women don't respect their men, and rightfully so, they don't. Because most of these beta males don't know how to put these women in their place. They really don't. It's easy to treat them with respect, but if they disrespect your ass, you're supposed to put them in their place. And if they're not going to comply, then guess what? You tell her ass, there's the door, bitch. I got nothing to say to your ass. And even though some of them have that dominating personality, they still have this beta male, male mentality. It's like, no, nah, man, I don't want to deal with your ass. I've seen situations on cheaters where these dumbass idiots will have a little beta male in them. They want to call the guy a wimp, but really you're the main wimp because you decided to tolerate this woman's bullshit. So like I said, oh, and by the way, that speech with, like I said before, that's a joke. I mean, we all know we can see it on a regular basis. And the whole Black Lives Matter, hey, and forgive me, I'm all over the place in this video. But I got to say that this white liberal is laughing to the bank. He really is. 
especially about this Black Lives Matter movement. I mean, you got a guy named George Soros who's making money off off the buffoonery of black women, and black women are too stupid to see this. Your North American black woman is so stupid and dumb, can't even connect the dots. And you black men, y'all need to really connect these dots, man. You really need to wake up. Because like I said, man, before, in the liquor store, I have seen situations where I see these women run around with children. I'm thinking to myself, who the hell get these women pregnant? A lot of you North American women, and especially a lot of North American black women, y'all y'all unraveling. Your whole debauchery is all over the place, and you can't escape it. And once again, I say kudos to Kyrie Irving for taking a stand and being a man about this situation. Because if that was me, I would have done... If that was me, maybe I would have caved in, but then I would realize, you know what? I'm glad I did what I did. And I'm glad Kyrie Irving did what he wanted to do. And with that, this is Carl Mitchell signing off.